Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome to the first. That's right, this is a Magic Orthodoxy first, where a subscriber, where a commentator, where a viewer has sent me a deck of playing cards to review. I get lots of uh, decks of cards from creators, right, from manufacturers, but this is the first time I've ever made a wish list on Amazon of just a handful of fun decks and had one of you purchase it, send it to me to do a review. And of course, we're gonna give them a huge shout out at the end of this. What are we looking at today? This is the Moretes two deck waterproof poker cards and playing cards with flexible plastic, PVC, and classic trick cards. That, whew, that's the whole title. That, did you get all that? <laughs> Mierte's two deck of waterproof poker cards and playing cards with flexible plastic, PVC, and classic trick cards. That, that was the title. Why did I put this on the wish list? Well, it looked fun, right? And you get two decks of cards on Amazon for eight bucks. What? Yes, two decks of PVC cards for eight bucks. You get a red deck and a blue deck. So both decks come in the mail like this, wrapped up. Um, I got a little fingerprint mark or a fingernail mark when I was undoing the tuck case, but obviously this one's red, this one's blue. They both have a king of spades uh, on them. This of course is the back, right? No tuck seal and no other writing, nothing, nothing. Just a gloss black, tuck case, literally nothing. I mean, you could come out, I guess, and disguise it as a black tuck case and then do a, oh, is this your card? A King of Spades reveal. But otherwise, nothing. There's nothing on this tuck case. And that should have given me a heads up as to what is inside. Because I did not know this when I looked at the listing, but it has no back design. It is just solid black cards which I think would be great if you had uh, like a black art uh, type trick, <laughs> right? But there's almost, I mean, it's not really glossy. It just has a little bit of a, a sheen, I think, which just comes from the PVC, but I don't think it's, it's not a gloss. But um, yeah, solid black back design. So I was thinking, okay, so wait, if I got a red deck and a blue deck, what makes one red and one blue if it's not the back design? Ah, it's the ink on the front. So here's your ace of spades, right? And as you can see, it's not a stark white, it's kind of an off gray, but then you get classic pips and indices, right? It looks exactly like it should. And then you get classic court cards. So here's your queen and your king, and I got plastic cards are a little harder to move. Here's your jack, but notice they are all in red ink. So that's where your red comes in. So red suits for your diamonds and hearts, right? Which is what you'd expect and then solid red court cards. So the red, it's kind of a red and white for your blacks, and then a darker, deeper red for your actual red suits. Let me show you what the blue deck looks like. And each deck comes with two jokers, one being white and one being the respective color, right? And then both decks are gonna look exactly the same. So same colors going through, and then same kind of ink job, right? You're gonna have a light, a blue, and a white with, with white colors for the black, and then you get blue fonts here, so they are really different. And remember, like I said, you get two of these decks, two decks for $8, and they're sturdy, well-constructed PVC. This is not cheap, these are not cheap plastic cards. These are, these are good quality, I mean, listen to this, Listen, right? That's good. Those are good PVC cards. Why would you get plastic cards over paper cards, right? I guess that's your question. Every once in a while when I do a deck review, somebody will ask and they'll say, oh, those plastic cards? And I'm thinking, I don't ever ever even see plastic cards. No, all the cards I review are paper. So plastic cards are more durable, definitely harder to cheat at cards with. They're cleanable. They're not gonna fold, right? So you don't have to worry about accidentally folding your cards. They have a really unique feel, and of course they're gonna be really easy to shuffle. The downside is they're usually more expensive than paper, 
but a deck of plastic cards will last much longer than paper cards. These are great for having on a boat or out in the snow or camping or if you live in a very damp climate. So I think primarily I had them on the wish list because it just seemed like a really good deal, right? Two decks of poker cards for $8. You get a red deck and a blue deck. And the cool thing is even though the back design isn't uh, a, a red or a blue, you could almost, and I say almost, separate the cards if they were all in a big jumbled mess at the bottom. The problem is if you had two you know, ace of spades or two six of clubs or any of the, the black cards, those look the same from deck to deck. So there's no difference in the back design and there's no difference in the face. So if you did mix the cards together, the only cards you'd be able to separate are the red suits and the courts, but the black spot cards would be the same in both decks. So that's something to consider if you play a game like War where the cards go down right into a communal pile. But otherwise, um, pretty nice little deck, pretty nice PVC deck. Like I was saying, plastic cards sometimes cost more. For only eight bucks, that's pretty cool. So today we are thanking Eric E. Eric E is the one who sent me this and he sent me a little gift receipt. This is Eric's gift receipt. And the agreement is if you send me a deck, I have to read what the gift receipt says, provided it's nice and, you know, in, in, in the spirit of the review, we're not gonna be political, we're not gonna be mean, we're not here to hurt anybody. This is just, this is just to be silly. So, Eric says, please let me know if these handle well. They do, they do handle well. And they solve my long-standing problem of not being able to perform the three-card Monty in swimming pools. I, I think you'll be fine. I think you'll be, I think you could do it. I think you could do, I think it'd be kind of hard to hold a double. PVC cards, I think it'd be hard to hold a double when they're wet. I think that'd be hard, but otherwise, sure. Three card money in a swimming pool, easy, easy, easy. So Eric E, thank you Eric E for sending me these decks. And uh, if you send me decks, you will get a shout out just like this. Like I said, these cards are available at Amazon for $8. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And if you'd like a shout out in the next Magic Orthodoxy playing card review, if you want to take part in this fun little experiment that we're doing, uh, down below there is an Amazon wish list pinned to the topmost comment. All you gotta do is click that and select any one of the decks of cards I have listed there. I picked out just a bunch of fun decks. There's some magic decks, some other creative decks, things that I've never reviewed before. You just select one of those, gift it to me at the David's gift address. And then whatever you write on the gift receipt, whatever you write on the gift receipt, I will say in the video, I will of course credit you, thank you for sending it to me, and then read your message aloud in the next Magic Orthodoxy deck review, as long as it's clean and nice and not political, right? We're trying to be, trying to be fun here. It's <laughs> just a fun little experiment. I don't even know how long I'll do this, but we'll do it until it's not fun anymore, I guess. So go down there, check out some of those decks, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.